What's going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video review this time it's I'm excited it's the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles GameStop exclusive they are sold out now unfortunately but keep on checking them back um, but if you want a quarter scale you can head over to bigbadtoystore.com I'll put the link down below the boxes are great you know they, they, they don't take up too much space because these are really small figures I believe 7 inches uh, so the boxes are great. You can actually keep them and the, you can see the artwork are awesome This is the back of the box kind of showcasing the uh, different poses that you can do with the figures And that's Michelangelo and Raphael and there's some group shot at the bottom now Let's head over to the accessories with um, Leonardo at first So th there's not a whole lot because technically these are $22 each figure which is amazing price uh, considering that you know and us SDCC I believe if you do, didn't go to that event then you can back then I was thinking of purchasing this on eBay for around $250 and I'm glad I didn't because I saved more than half um, out the door I think I paid $97 including shipping and taxes and all this for uh, at GameStop uh, you know hopefully you guys hopefully NECA restocks them because the last time I checked they are sold out but uh, you know, like I said, they don't come with much uh, compared to their one to their quarter scale, you know, counterpart. But then again, one quarter scale is almost the same price as four of these guys. So, and um, you didn't lose any quality, to be quite honest. They come with pizza, as you can see here. Decent details on the pizza. Uh, an extra pair of hands, uh, which varies from different characters. You can see it from Leonardo, so it's going to be different from him to Michelangelo. Uh, but you can interchange those hands no one's stopping you and also because of the skin tone is pretty much the same uh, as you can see here Donatello and an extra you know obviously the weapon uh, their signature weapon which is twin katana for Leonardo I just Wikipedia that so and apparently this is called a bow not a stick for Donatello uh, he also comes with this extension for his bandana so you can kind of swing it from left to right so you know whatever suits your mood i guess that day so um it, you can you know alternate it and it, he's he, they only have three fingers so you, this looks bad but it's not what you think it's not the middle finger he only has three so well technically that's his middle finger uh this is michelangelo as so you can see playful kind of gesture thumbs up um his nunchucks and an extra extension as well with a pizza I didn't even pay attention if the pizza changes, which which I don't care. I know in the quarter scale, some of them comes with uh, a box of pizza or those canisters and all that stuff, which would have been nice. I hopefully they come out with more from this line because I I'm a '90s kid, so I'm a little biased when it comes to '90s pop culture, and this is a big part of my childhood. So I'm, I was really excited when they announced it. I, I almost jumped on a quarter scale. It's just that I just don't have that much space anymore. I have so many one six scale collectibles and vehicles and all that stuff that, you know, having four quarter scales, even though they're packed with, you know, awesomeness, I just, you know, just couldn't justify it. And here's, here's uh, Raphael with his Sai. Beautiful. You know, the paint application is a bit lacking on here because as you can understand, they're, they're a bit on smaller scale. But as far as the figure itself, I mean, there's no lacking of um, paint application or details in here. Just beautiful. That's all I can say. Uh, they packed it out on this small, tiny little figure. Uh, I don't know if you can call it tiny. I'm just used to 12 inches, you know, with my 1-6 scale collectibles. But you can see the texture um the paint application the joints are almost non-existent because they have all these you know wristband if you want to call them that or elbow pads with knee pads now it does restrict the articulation which i would show later on but not to that extent i mean it put yourself i mean we're basing it off the movie which you know obviously back then there's not a whole lot of well there's no no cgi so this is all via costume and you see the calf, calf muscles in there and nice there's some spots and even the back as you can see here it, it, where the weapon stores and all that stuff but i was as, as i was saying earlier uh back in the day there's no cgi so there's an actual person inside of that costume that doesn't really perform the same way as a cgi would you know all these action uh stuff so 
I, I guess even though it's a limited articulation for these figures and, and understandably so they you know it's a turtle uh you can't compare their movements obviously to their um uh, cartoon counterpart or video game or whatnot but look at this head sculpt right here i mean you i paid 22 dollars for these uh, i mean for this pit figure right here look at that that's awesome i mean I mean, can, would I wanted a second head sculpt, of course, but this is amazing. You know, I haven't swapped out any uh, with the bandana or whatever you want to call that. But this is beautiful. The paint application. Now you'll you'll see some quality control issues sometimes. You know, uh, like with mine, there's some sh a little bit of an extra rubber or paint that is, but it doesn't. You know, it doesn't really bother me. Like I said, I it's twenty two dollars. So for the entire figure one figure at least but i don't know this is just amazing it just brings back so many memories i think this was in 1991 maybe i was a, i was a kid so and this is michelangelo with a different expression which suits him the most Raphael, which is always he's always mad anyway even on the new movies he's just a mad guy and uh back to leonardo here so those eyes are, are beautiful as well. The shine, it, it's just, it, it's perfect. What I, what can I say? Uh, Donatello, kind of like a smirk, the brain of the group. I stopped watching them when I hit, I don't know, sixth grade or something. But still, uh, just uh, uh, just um, the amount of memories that I do have with these guys are, are just terrific. I don't remember the movie. Sadly enough, uh, I think they're in Amazon. You just don't have the time to watch them. So I just want to show you guys the different the the difference between the body because I know they're different characters. But uh, you know, the, it's different when they they store their weapons. But I guess they use the same mold. I suppose uh, I don't see any difference as far as you know their their back shell, uh, just the belts. You know because they they just have different weapons so different purposes and and honestly I, I wasn't expecting different molds because why why would they but it's just I'm just trying to give you guys a comparison here maybe, but maybe there is you know maybe there's different scratches and and whatnot so I'll just put them in in a few poses before we wrap this thing up and this is Michelangelo holding a pizza giving us the thumbs up you know, as playful as always so you can see there, this is Donatello kind of playing around with his uh, bow or stick or whatever you want to call them. And they, they stand pretty well on their own. So they don't have a stand, just, just to let you know right away. So if you are used to having hot toys with stands, uh, they don't. But again, there's a, a small figure. So, And I dropped one of them. The paint is pretty good. They don't scratch off easily. The problem here is that because they're small, my kids think that they are toys, which technically they are, but not for them. You know, not for them. Uh, they got to play with um, PJ Mask or something else. And this is uh, Leonardo you know, holding his twin katana, trying to uh, stab someone. I hope they come up with Shredder or Bebop and Rocksteady. I hope they just complete the entire line, honestly. You know, just give us Splinter. And I know in SDCC, they came up with this nice diorama with the house and everything, which is it's $250. It's a bit expensive, if you ask me. But now that I have these four guys, I kind of want that. You know, I was, I was kind of sniping on eBay. One of the, it, it didn't go up by much. It's uh, I think I saw one for 300 so it's $50 more. But then again, if you factor in uh, the fee that this guy's going to pay, so it's pretty much even. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's worth 250 to be going honest with you. I, maybe I'm just... I, maybe I'm in a mode right now where I just want to buy every Ninja Turtle based figure from NECA and Raphael. Look, at, I mean, they're so nice. Even if you take a picture of this, this is a video. So if I take a picture of these figures and change the background, you know, do some editing and all that stuff, man, this would look so good. Uh, and, and they're so small. You know, they don't take up so much space and they're, they're cheap. Uh, that's that's the biggest factor I would say is that they are affordable that you, unlike hot toys where you need to fork out at least $220 nowadays for 97 I got the complete set 
And if you are just creative and, you know, with your photography skills, you would do a decent job with these guys. And I'm just showing here the range of motion. Uh, every turtle is pretty much the same. So you can have this, you know, it's not double jointed on the elbows. And it, it is kind of hard because of those rubber knee pads and, and, and you know, um, elbow pads and all that stuff. You can do a little bit of split. You can bend the knees uh, like this, but I mean, you could probably do more if you really want to push it, but I, I don't. Uh, I don't really need them to do any more dynamic pose as they should. The head rotates, which you don't see on the camera. I don't normally tackle articulation, so <laughs> forgive me for uh, not capturing the entire moment here, but yeah. But as far as scale is concerned, you can see Mike Tyson from Storm Collectibles with the Rock SH figure arts. The small, you know, figures, which are pretty cool. Small in statue, but still pretty nice detail. It's the same as the Rock and Mike Tyson that I have there. And this is him right next to an Enter Bay 1 9th scale figure. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit bigger because it's 1 9th. And you got John Wall. He's a basketball player. You know, I mean, what can you expect? And here he is right next to a typical 1-6 collectible, which is Captain America Age of Ultron from Hot Toys. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And then next, we're going to compare him to another green figure, which is uh, also from Hot Toys. Just It's Hulk, not Gamora. So just to give you a grand scale here. So Hulk is maybe like the one fourth scale, if you think about it, if converting to the Ninja Turtles because they are... A little bit smaller but they do have the one fourth counterpart so that's kind of what the difference is and there you go guys um i love this set i do uh i mean obviously if you buy one you need to buy all all of them um unless you're just a fan of one turtle but i am so happy and glad that i was able to sneak in you know there was a small window and i didn't pre-order them because I thought I can just walk into a Best Buy, grab four, and then go home. Boy, boy I was wrong. Uh, but I panicked. And I kind of checked the um, the four-pack, and it's always unavailable. But if you go to GameStop.com, maybe check individually. Maybe you can buy each. You know, Hopefully, you get lucky, as, as like myself. But uh, if you want I mean, if you want more details, just get the, one, the quarter scale. They're always available in Big Bad anyway. A bit more expensive, though. So thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I would see you guys in the next review.